Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and in this video I will be showing you guys my brand new gaming monitor. This video is proudly sponsored by BenQ. They ended up hooking me up with this monitor to give you guys my 100% honest opinion about it. They made that very, very clear. They wanted my honest opinion, so I'm going to be giving it in this video. This is an ultra-wide 35-inch BenQ monitor that can be used for gaming, video editing, and anything within that category. Make sure you guys check out my Instagram and Twitter and also the description down below so you guys can get more information about this monitor. So once you open the box, you will be greeted by the instructions, cables to your left, cables to your right, as well as a piece of plastic that I believe covers cables for cable management, and also the installation disc and whatnot, and the monitor will already be assembled underneath this giant piece of styrofoam. So once this ginormous piece of styrofoam is out of the way, you will be greeted by the actual desktop monitor, which is really big. It's it's almost the same length of the box, which is really, really long. Now this, it is covered really nicely, so it won't get all scratched up, and it's, it's gonna be super duper clean. It is BenQ, as you can see, so I'm gonna lift this bad boy out of here, and we will see how nice it really looks. So the monitor is pre-assembled in the box, and let's unravel it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, they packaged this really, really nice. So as you can see, the monitor does actually have a very, very thick piece of foam to protect the screen during transportation, and that is really nice. When you spend this much money on a monitor, you want it to be packaged really nice. You want it to come in one piece, you want it to be looking fresh, brand new out of the factory. So with that being said, they definitely do that. They, they do that 100%. They have tape on all corners, they even double it up. There's tape here doubled, and it just looks really nice. So the moment of truth, can we see this monitor screen for the first time? time. Yes, we can. Doo, 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 doo. Ooh, that is just really, really nice. So the first thing I instantly see when I look at this monitor is that it's a bezel-less monitor. That means that the screen flows from over here and it has no bezels whatsoever. It does have a little bit of a gap, but there is seriously, it's like a flowing screen. Like it just goes from one side to another in a nice fluent motion. And it just looks so clean that way. Obviously there's the bezel on the bottom. It says BenQ in the middle, but it just looks so nice and so clean. So the first thing I do really want to mention are all the cables and actual attachments that come with the BenQ 35 inch ultra wide monitor. So the first cable that will be with the monitor is going to be a display port cable. You have the regular display port end right here, as well as the minimized display port. I'm not too sure what that's called, but uh, I believe it's just the mini display port. HDMI cord that you get with this as well, a nice added bonus. Also includes a type C, which is perfect when you have a gaming laptop or just a regular laptop that you want to hook up to your monitor, which is really nice and handy. So also right here, this is going to be the power brick that gives you the power power to the monitor itself with the outlet plug right there and then you also have the end right here that goes right into your monitor. There's also this really, really cool piece, and what this does is this actually covers the back of the monitor where you end up plugging in any of these cables that you use. I will be using a display port, so this, in reality, will be covering the actual display port cable, so it gives it a very nice covered, sleek look that you don't see any cables and it's more of a cable management kind of piece. I wanted to show you guys the nice design of the back of it. So say you have a desk that people will end up seeing the back of your monitor. This is a very nice touch. They made a very nice matte finish silver, which looks very nice. Has the BenQ logo right there. It says BenQ curved monitor. It also has the hole down here below so you can sneak the cords through or snake them through and have a better cable management on the actual desk itself. And also this is a textured feel all along the actual bottom of the BenQ 35 inch curved monitor. Also the stand is a nice, really, really nice chromed finish as well as the circle right here. And the BenQ is a nice, chrome finish as well. So with this 35 inch BenQ monitor, you can actually bring it down quite some ways and bring it back up. And also it does have the feature where you can tilt it and you can tilt it back like so. It has a very far tilt, but the one thing you cannot do is you cannot take the monitor and go like this. It will not tilt that way horizontally, but vertically it will tilt back and forth and it will go down and up. 
So to change the aspect ratio, it's as easy as going just into settings really quickly, going to system, going to the resolution, because currently I have it at 2560 by 1440. So this monitor actually has the resolution of 3440 by 1440p. That's the resolution. Gonna click recommended, keep changes, and let's see how that looks. That is awesome. That looks so much better. This monitor also includes AMD's FreeSync, which eliminates screen tearing and choppy gameplay. Sadly for me, I do have a NVIDIA graphics card, so this does not apply for me, but for a lot of you out there, this may be the perfect monitor for you. There's a 100Hz refresh rate, which is amazing for gaming, like playing Call of Duty, Forza, any of those games. There's Battlefield, really fast-paced games, as well as video editing that may be very fast-paced. This BenQ 35-inch ultra-wide curved X-series monitor is also amazing for video editing. As you can see, I do have an 8-minute long clip that's actually in my editing software right now, and I still have a little bit of real estate at the end to fit more. This is amazing for video editors or anyone who's just getting into it because it's just, it gives you that extra real estate that you never had before. You just have everything in front of you all in one shot and there's less uh, moving with the mouse and it just makes it that much more fluent to work in this environment. The monitor also has HDR, BenQ's special HDR with eye care so it's very easy on the eyes and it looks like you are truly in the picture. One thing that I find insanely useful is that I actually ended up adding in a sensor down below the BenQ logo. That is going to be the ambient light sensor that detects ambient light levels and the color temperatures in the viewing environment, so in your room, and automatically adjusts on-screen brightness and the color temperature of the screen to fit your surroundings. So if you're in a dark environment or a bright environment, that sensor is gonna pick it up to make you feel like it's the best viewing environment for you. And that technology is the Brightness Intelligence Plus technology that BenQ is known for. And that is definitely a very cool feature for this 35 inch curved BenQ monitor. Now the question is, do I think this BenQ monitor is worth the price tag? Now personally, Yes, I think it is 100%. The reasons for it is it has a curvature of 1800R, which is one of the biggest curvatures in its actual class. Currently, my camera is only picking up 1080p, so it's not even picking up the true resolution of what's on the screen. The screen is amazing. The aspect ratio is 21.9, which again is ultra wide. It is a curved ultra wide monitor. This is what everyone dreams about having in a gaming room. And yes, I've always dreamt about it. And finally seeing it in person, it's just, it's blowing me away. Also, what's really worth noting is I didn't actually mess with any of the settings in this monitor. I didn't touch the brightness. I didn't touch the contrast. I haven't touched any single setting. And this monitor out of the box looks really good. I can't even imagine that when I start changing the brightness, the contrast, maybe the display, it is going to actually look better than it already does. And that's mind blowing because of how good it actually looks out of the box. This also is worth mentioning. Right down here is going to be the power button and it lights up, it illuminates. So if it's dark in the room and you press the button, you will be able to actually see where the button is. So next there are going to be five little buttons down below and the first button we press, it will bring up the actual full menu. You press it again to go to the first setting. It'll show you there's standard, there's HDR, which this monitor has, which is amazing. There's sRGB, photo, gamer, gamer 2, gamer 3, custom one you can click the up arrow down arrow the check mark you can go left and there's also the X so we'll exit out of that we'll go to the second setting which should be contrast which it is as you can see I can bring it down bring it up get out of it third button is going to be the brightness which right now it's at a hundred percent which these settings are super super easy to go through the actual menu itself there's display picture picture advance there's audio and this system so with that being said it is a very easy button management system on this monitor. So on the back side, underneath the monitor, you will be finding all of the actual ports that you can plug all your accessories into. You're going to be getting two 3.0 USB ports. You're going to get the Type-C, the USB Type-C, right down there in the corner below. There's also going to be the DisplayPort, 
two HDMIs. Also going to be getting a headset jack because sadly there is no internal speakers. That is the biggest downside about this monitor. Sadly it doesn't have speakers but usually when you're a really heavy gamer or editor you're most likely going to have a headset on either way. And last but not least that port is going to be the power plug port that you have to plug into the wall to power the monitor itself. This monitor actually has the BenQ's industry leading eye care technology which is really really nice because it actually reduces eye fatigue while you're using the monitor and it gives you a better comfort for a longer period of time. So that is very nice because I am behind a monitor for most of my day to be honest, either editing videos, watching YouTube, watching movies. Also another great feature about a ultra wide monitor, especially this one, is that you can actually watch movies without the black bars on the top and the bottom, which is like what I'm so excited for. I'm really, really excited for that. This monitor really is living up to its expectations. BenQ, you guys have outdone yourself with this monitor. Thank you guys for the incredible support on this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a huge like, comment, subscribe. I'll be leaving the last video over here, the most recommended video over here. Go subscribe to The Speedy Gamer and The Speedy Diver. I'll be leaving all the links down below to BenQ's website as well as this monitor specifically in the description as well as the Amazon links. So if you guys are curious at how much this monitor does cost, I'll be leaving all that in the description below. Make sure if you guys are new, you consider subscribing. Check out my new merchandise, Speedy Beetle merch. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.